There's a lot to like about the Mi-10T Pro including its fast display, big battery, and 108 megapixel camera setup. Welcome to another Techno Edition. In today's video we take a look at an Indian company and phone maker, Xiaomi. With every major phone brand rolling out their flagship smartphones for 2020, Xiaomi also rolls out one of its own flagship smartphone, the Mi-10T Pro with a refresh that rivals even Samsung's. So we decided to take a closer look at this renowned Indian flagship. Remember to give us your review in the comments below and let us know if this is the kind of a phone that deserves the top 5 rank on the best flagships of 2020. Highlights. Xiaomi's Mi10T Pro gets a fast 144Hz display. The Mi10T Pro clicks good pictures with its 108MP primary camera. The phone also gets a big 5000 mAh battery. Specifications, performance and battery. Underneath the hood, the Mi10T Pro packs flagship grade specs as it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset that supports up to 5G basebands. The chipset has been paired with 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 256GB of storage. The phone comes with Wi-Fi 6 for faster download speeds. To keep the device cool, Xiaomi has also used a liquid cooling system. Overall, this configuration does quite well, and as found in our time with it the hardware proved to be good enough to handle any and everything we throw at it. From graphics-intensive games to apps of daily use such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, all run fine on the device without any problem. The RAM may not be the highest you'd see on a flagship device at the moment, but for what it's worth, the device manages to handle its resources pretty well, and always manages to allocate enough amount of RAM to apps in the UI itself to ensure an experience bereft of any micro stutters or lags. Another thing of note about the Mi10T Pro's performance is that it manages to remain really cool even under stress, which not only helps with the general performance of the device but also, improves battery life. Talking about the battery, the phone brings with itself a 5000 mAh pack with support for 33W fast charging. This is a bigger battery than what was seen on the Mi10 earlier in the year. However, because the phone has to deal with a display refreshing at a faster pace, the gains from the increase in battery size were lost to us at times. But generally, the kind of runtimes we got using the Mi10T Pro on a single charge was pretty impressive, with moderate usage involving a light mix of gaming, social media, general browsing and a little bit of YouTube over and above a lot of calls and WhatsApp gave us close to 1.5 days of use on a single charge. Cameras. In terms of cameras, the Mi10T Pro gets the same 108 megapixel rear camera we saw on the Mi10. This primary lens has been paired to a 13-megapixel ultra-wide lens and 5-megapixel macro lens. The camera setup comes with features such as optical stabilization, 8K video recording, dual video mode and more. Of the three, it is definitely the 108-megapixel sensor that's the most interesting, despite it not being the first time having been used on a Xiaomi phone. The same sensor that was used on the Mi10, this lens provides similar results as on the predecessor, but the overall quality of the images and color tuning appears better in the shots clicked on the Mi10T Pro because of improvements in the camera software and tuning of the hardware. In our time with the device, we found images clicked with the device to come out with plenty of detail and color, with the camera especially excelling in well-lit situations where there is enough natural light to bring out good texture and color details in a photograph. The low-light performance is also quite good, with the sensor generally clicking above par images in slightly dim scenes. There is some loss of detail here, but the images don't come out grainy, and colors look good, if not the most accurate and slightly oversaturated at times. The camera app also has a habit of brightening up frames a bit too much in low-light scenes, which can again take away from the texture details the user might be trying to capture in the shot. The other lenses also do quite well, with the ultra-wide lens definitely coming in handy when you want to include more area in a photograph without having to physically move or change the frame. The quality of these pictures is also good, with no fisheye effect seen in such shots. The low-light performance of this lens leaves more to be desired, but overall, it's not something that's a deal-breaker. The Mi10T Pro also brings a 20-megapixel camera for clicking selfies. We found pictures clicked using to reflect accurate skin tones and good detail when shots were clicked using AI modes switched off. 
There's a lot to like, and very little to dislike about the Mi10T Pro. The phone offers some headline-grabbing features such as the 144Hz adaptive refresh rate display. There's also the presence of a massive 5000 mAh battery pack with fast charging which provides very good runtimes. And lest we forget the 108 megapixel primary lens for clicking well-detailed shots any time of the day. All of these make a very solid argument for the Mi10T Pro. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think about the Xiaomi M10T Pro. We will be comparing the Xiaomi M10T Pro with the iPhone 12 Pro in our next video.